Hey guys, welcome to the vault. We're back with some more exclusive content. Uh, Jason, Leon, and Pierre here. We're joined by a good friend, Eric, aka Fitted for You. We're here to review a really cool pack uh, that came from All the Right. Hope you guys enjoy. Pierre, take it away. Eric's getting a further a further peek <laughs> behind the curtains at Views from the Vault. Like we are like banging out videos left and right, and uh, Eric is uh, joining us for all the fun. Um, so, listen one of the one of the biggest attributes of Queens is its diversity. So for those that haven't been to Queens, um, there's a huge Chinese culture, Colombian, Dominican. I mean, there are, it is like just an absolute melting pot with tons of different communities within that that city, and it's it's one of the most diverse places on the planet. I mean, there's just people there's just people from all walks of life that converge in Queens, and um, so that's one part of Queens, right? But the other thing that's really important to Queens and all the right are the New York Mets. So. The team over at All the Right put together a capsule of caps that really kind of signify and connect to those communities that that live in that vibrant and diverse um, community. So let's take a look at these, right? We're going to go through these one by one. Jason Mead, um, he is like our Encyclopedia Britannica. So he's <laughs> going to be taking us through um, what these all connect to. Now, the first one is actually a New York baseball Giants cap, but... Mm -hmm. A beautiful one, nonetheless. This almost is. This could also pass as a good holiday hook, too. Yep, it really could because it uses the colors red and green from the Italian flag. Ooh, represent Italy. All right. My favorite kinds of food too is Italian. I do <laughs> love me some good Italian food. Nothing like a good old chicken parm. Mm -hmm. I made a baked ziti the other night. I was just Ooh. Some, oh man. Yourself. Culinary God, I wish I was uh, nearby the Mead residence. I would have stopped by for some of that. Mm -hmm. I'll send you, you some. What were you going to say, Leon? <laughs> hmm? No, I just called him a culinary expert. Jason Mead. That's right. Yeah, I, would, I would not say that. I know how to cook. I'm not a chef. Mm. Anybody go for some pupusas? For Ecuadorian mm. food, Ooh. another one of the the uh, cultures that you find in that vibrant city of Queens. That's a good looking hat, though. It is right. So, listen, these are like no matter what the hook, whatever. These are great looking hats. These are good Mets hats. Mm. I know Jason on this week in caps did not like this hat. This is actually one of my favorites. Mm. Yeah, the Colombian. It's growing on me. But you know, it's just done. It's not like gradient. So I kind of like right. that it's just like split like that. And <laughs> the colors are kind of like connected to the eyelets, the uh, squatchy and that side patch. Just, a, you know, listen, man, it connects perfectly to what it's trying to connect to. That's for oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, even the proportions of the colors are exactly like what's on the flag from yeah. Columbia. All right. Next up. Mm. Again, it's hard to mess up those Brazil colors. I like what they did here. Mm -hmm. Listen, this is really nice because if you're if you're a Mets fan, if you're from Queens and you're you're connected to one of these cultures, right? I mean, listen, like you can't go wrong. I mean, if I'm Brazilian, I'm picking up this hat. I'm picking up two. Yeah, or if you're a Brazil soccer fan or whatever, I mean, I match all oh, your yeah. jerseys and your kits. Here's the Leon Chen. Oh. This one came out really good, man. I know people are some people don't like these, but dude, come on, man. This thing. Mm -hmm. I like it. Patch is executed well. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are hats like if uh the Mets were gonna play in the World Baseball Classic, they could yeah. uh, just throw mm -hmm. these on and but there's no better combo. When it comes down to gold, then with red, like sure. red and gold is like it, man. It just, it just, it they go together, man. Like peas and carrots. That's it. This one's, this one's nice too. Mexico or Germany. Sorry, I had the wrong flag there. Yeah, that's a. Is that gold on the front? Or it's like, yellow? no, it's like, a, it's yellow. Okay. 
like uh what do you call that I forgot the is it university uh, gold is that what you call it or athletic gold athletic gold yeah they did a good job on the patch too mm. dominican i like the the off color eyelets on these i do too it adds to it right love that patch you do yeah i like it oh it's clunky yes it is Mm. i like it you don't see it often that's why i like i just don't you know not every day you see it right two more to go guys Uh, argentina yep i like this one man this one i'm gonna this one i'm wearing does that have the gold UV too, or is it gray? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks like gold. Like gold, gold. Because they don't usually use it. Because everybody else that's doing it is using that, like that kind of like wheat color. Sure. And last but not least, mm. this one's in Mexico. This one's good, man. Yeah, I I like what they did by using the black. Mm-hmm. Um, they kept it from making it look like a Christmas hat. Yeah. Because, yeah, Mexico flag, uh, green and red, it, it's, I mean, if you use that too much, you're, everybody's going to say Christmas on you. Mm-hmm. I like what they did here for sure. All right, guys, that's the pack. So I'd love to hear from each of you your three favorites. I hope you guys were taking notes. That was a lot of hats. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let, me see, Eric, let, me see let me see the side patches so I could just jog my memory real quick. I know it's uh I like the Argentina, I know the blue one. I like the Mexico, that black one. And then the Shea Stadium as well. Can't see it. Uh, the white that, the white the, Yeah. Oh, the okay. American. Oh, oh no, the white Columbia. one. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Columbia. Okay. Yeah. This one? Just, yeah, I just like appreciate how it's like done. Yeah. But uh and then the other two. What were your other two? I'm sorry. You said Argentina and Mexico. I don't really like the uh, metallic UVs as much myself, but I just think it's too clean of a colorway. And then this one, I... Yeah, this is good, man. Yeah. Mm. All right. Leon, how about you? I'm going to take uh, Team China. Um, this one looks more like a, almost like a, a Team Canada because it's red and white. It's got the gold, maybe. I'll, I'll pretend it's like a gold medal for hockey. But I, I like this one. <laughs> okay. Um, so I could pick Argentina. Um, yep. I usually am not in love with uh, metallic UVs, but they did win the World Cup, so that you was just a picked two metallic UVs in a row. I know, I know, but foreshadowing for, for right. to win the World Cup, and then the other one is uh, uh Team Germany. I want kind of nice little slick hat, the other one, right? yeah. yep, yeah. Deutschland. Jason Mead, how about you? You know, might as well keep that uh, Germany up at number three. Um, uh, got got a like like Leon, go with the homeland. Mm, okay. Uh, number two for me again, those Brazil colors, man. Absolutely love that. Love the blue uh, under visor on this one too. It's a great touch. And and uh, number one, and I got some friends that are going to be very happy with this choice. And my hat of the year is Mexico. Mm. I like Mexico too, man. This is a good one. Yeah, it's like this is kind of hard for me to do, man. But I'm gonna try to go through these. Uh, what is it? Ten of these? No, nine. nine right? Nine. All right. Making okay. All right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it never fails. That one's a good one. Number eight. Damn it. I like it. Yep, yep. My top three are his bottom three. That's good. <laughs> My girlfriend's gonna kill me. I put the Dominican one number five. Oh, uh oh. She might stab me. It's getting tough. Okay. Hmm. Off the podium. All right. 
Okay. Okay. And the gold medal. All mm. right. It's not even about them winning the gold medal. I there's something I haven't seen gold with like powder like this light powder blue. Like I've never seen actually, it, but I like it. I, I actually really like the uh, the white logo too. Yeah. Yeah. The more I look at this hat, it's just like a nice it's just a nice looking hat. And I like that NY logo like that. The chunky one, yeah. Yeah, that chunky one without the outline. I don't know, I just like it. Yeah. Now I'll pick your favorite hat based on the food from that country. Oh no, Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Give me Mexico. Nah. Mexico. Nah, man. I don't like that stuff. That's too it's too spicy for me, man. I like Mexican food. Brazilian meat, though. Like their meats yeah. are like incredible. Mm-hmm. Their meats oh, are incredible. Yeah. But China would be China would be right. China, Italy, and, and Mexico would be my top three there. Chinese Italy. food. Bleh. You've never had it. So never had Argentine <laughs> food. <bleh. laughs> Brazilian food, only the meat. Bleh. Um, Dominican? Dominican food, um, I'll pretend to like it. <laughs> That's spicy stuff, too. What was this? Ecuador, uh, was it? Ecuador. Never had it. Colombian, never had you it. Probably never had it, no. Mexican, too spicy. <laughs> German food, I like, uh, I guess I like Chisel. sausage, and I like... Yeah, lots of sausages in German food. And They're all right, I guess. They're all right. A lot of potatoes. The winner. Bland stuff. The winner. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> Chicken parm, lasagna, big ziti, all that. Pizza. Pizza. Well, pizza, I don't know. That's debatable, right? Was pizza was pizza first? Yeah, pizza is Italian. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's debate on that though. Is there? I believe so. Who's debating that? That pizza's yeah. not from Italy. <laughs> pizza from Italy? Is that like uh, is that's not not even questionable? I don't think so. I don't think anyone's arguing that. It's not the same as it is here, though. I'll tell you that. No, yeah. it is different. It's a little different. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely. I think Americans important. definitely changed the way yeah, pizza's made and stuff. But well, just like we did with Mexican food and Chinese yeah. food. And, yeah. Yeah, 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 no, we've Americanized it. We ruined it. Right. But no, it, pizza's definitely from Italy. Yeah. The Italians not stole not. the noodles from China, though. That's not debated. They're de- made out of different, different grains. All right. Yeah, I mean... I guess it's an Italy argument. Italy makes their noodles out of wheat, and uh, China makes their noodles out of rice. Do they? Does China make its noodles out of rice? What's rice made out of? Rice? Rice is just rice. Rice is a grain, yes. That's just a grain. Yeah. So, wait, Chinese noodles are made out of rice? A no, lot of them are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they use wheat in some of It depends what region, too. What about... I don't, I don't know enough about this, guys. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not ready to eat Chinese food. That's that's the issue. Right China, China's a very big country, and there's like like a bunch of different cuisines just within China itself. Yeah, yeah. I kind of like uh, you know my my planer diet. You know, it's just kind of <laughs> like what I like. You would love you would love English food. I you know I, I love Italian food, but I'm also I, I don't know, man. I like just I'm also meat and potatoes. You got to remember, I, you know, my parents are Canadian, so it's like. They didn't have anything. They just had like whatever was on the farm, you know, meat and potatoes. You know, that's what my dad. That's what my dad grew up on. My dad likes turnips. Turnips are good. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever had a turnip in my whole life. That's a Dude, good you ain't missing, for, you ain't missing nothing. Yeah. Disgusting. Yeah, turnip. It's a good sub- substitute for potato. But it tastes nothing like it. It tastes like it's, it's like it's got like it's got like some properties that will make you want to gag. Okay. Regular vegetable. <laughs> like, turnips yeah, are nasty, I'm man. There. I'll stand up for turnips. Turnips are my fine. dad yeah. loves turnips. He'd like put him up a full plate of turnips with like butter on it and like just smash it up. Like, yeah, you, you, you eat them like potatoes. Yeah. yeah. I take potato over turnip, but I'm yeah, offended I mean, if anyone tried to eat them. All right. No. So rank potato, sweet potato, turnip. Potatoes, oh, sweet potato sweet doesn't potato even turnip. rank. Sweet potato is trash food. No, sweet potato is good. No, 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 no. no. And then turnip. And then potatoes way up here, obviously. But I all right. So how do you like the potato? I like my potato baked with like just butter. That's good. Mashed. It's good. Put a little I, salt I, on there. You know, fries. fries. I, I I don't like I don't like scallop potatoes. I like those too. I do too. I like scallop. They're a little crispy other, sometimes. Mm-hmm. Any other form of potato, sign me up for. 
Mm. You really can't mess up potato, right? It's a very versatile food. I mean, they're del- they're de- they're so plain and cheap, but delicious. Mm. You know, I'll, you know, if I have pick favorite, I'll go mashed potatoes with gravy. Okay, I like I I do like baked potatoes, but they have to be baked like long enough where they're nice and soft you can just like kind of but what makes the potato is never the potato itself it's what you can put on it yeah the condiments and all the extra stuff i'm a big fan of butter and i do like light like light salt so like you know put some butter and light salt on on a potato man yeah man i'll eat i'll eat i'll eat a little sour cream i don't want i don't want all that it's too much sour cream's too much i don't like sour cream on big potatoes what no Uh, butter butter salt and pepper I've watched Leon eat though. Leon strikes me the kind of guy he's not stopping at sour cream. He's like, no, hey no. man, you can put cheese, bacon, bacon bits, bits. Top packer, you can sprinkle on there. Yeah, <laughs> cheese, bacon bits, chives. Yeah, nah. Water, see, I, I just, water. I'm just plain butter and salt, man. Eric likes his potato scalloped. He said, "I think I'm scalloped." Um, if I had to pick, I don't know. I like a good like a home fry, like when they're oh, like yeah. the peppers and the onions and like seasoned and stuff, and like a skillet. Yeah, that's probably my number yeah. one. Potatoes are good, man. Yeah, yeah. probably Fries, my takeaway. Chips. Besides the the depth and the strength of this pack, the next closest uh, takeaway I have is is the beauty of the potato. It's one of yeah. the most versatile foods. Just do it's a potato pack. Russet, Idaho, red, Yukon. They'd be all be brown and white. Yukon Except gold. For, yeah, no, they're yeah, different yeah. colors. Yeah. Okay, purple. Brown, fingerling, and, and yellow, fingerling. Oh yeah, those are good too. Those little baby potatoes. Yeah. Those are good. You, you boil those a little bit and then throw them in the fryer and then smash them. Oh, that's smash a good them. Watch, right. relax, buddy. What is it with you and smashing things? Like you just like <laughs> yeah, eat them. Like, you've like never that, had. Though. You've never had a fried potato that's been like, like, smashed, and then, nah, and then I... you, the, you refry it and then it's like crispy edges and all oh, yeah, that yeah. good stuff. Yeah, those are good. Lots, a lot of steps. It is, but it's worth it. All right. Well, listen, guys, this was a very eventful show. We went we went through and we did a review on um, I think an underrated and underappreciated pack by All the Right that um, highlights the communities and the vibrant um, city of uh, Queens. But I want to thank you guys for joining me. I also want to thank um, All the Right for offering us the opportunity to uh, review these. Thanks again, guys. We appreciate all you do out in the Queens area. And with that, Leon, big fella, take us away. Yeah. Uh, if you guys made it this far, uh, congratulations. <laughs> um, make sure you guys are following All the Right for uh, future release info. Uh, for Eric, Jason, Leon, and Pierre, we're signing out, guys. Stay fitted. See you, everybody. Brought to you by VFTV.